and welcome to IT Learn 360. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most important topic that is why automation testing. Now, this question, like this question keeps on moving around in everyone's mind that why we need an automation tester or why we need a tester in software world. Now, like everyone knows that we have a developer who develops the code, but still why we need automation testing. So in this video, I'll be talking about the importance of automation testing, as well as the benefits we are going to get by, from an automation testing, as well as the tools required while developing or while testing, basically while testing the websites or you can say the applications. As well as in this video, we'll be talking about the tools or like the technologies related to those tools and at the end, I'll show you like what the salary uh, basically a uh, tester gets. In like, I'll show you the scenario of both cases, like what in India and as well as in US. So let's start with the first, for the first topic that is importance of automation testing. So let's move with the first topic that is, why is what is software testing? Let's first understand what basically software testing is. This is just a method to check whether the requirement of the product is matched or not. In testing process, the bugs in codes are checked and reported to match the requirements. Now, the scenario is something like this. If a developer develops a code, so that code is basically tested by the tester that the requirement given by the client and the working done by the test developer is same or not. If there are some bugs, then that bugs are solved by the testers. That's the work of software testing. This is basically why testing was introduced. Now, the importance of testing. Now, this is the most important part of development process. Like there is a process, one builds the project, other tests the project, and at the end it's deployed if there is no bugs in the code. So if there are any bugs in software, it can be identified early and solved before deployment. But this process is important because software bugs can be expensive and dangerous. Now, expensive and dangerous is like two forms. Like it will be expensive if we deploy some product and again, we go for testing or like if we get any problem while working, then again, we go and resolve those problems. So there it will get, it will be very expensive. And dangerous is like if you have any heavy software and while someone is working or like someone is like think about thousands of people are using that particular application and it gets crashed, then that will be dangerous. There will be heavy loss to the companies, to the applications, the one who is using that application. There can be lots of problems. So to handle these problems, like software testing was brought into use. Now, what's the benefit of software testing? Thus, I tell you like just a scenario when like if anything is deployed and again, we go for the testing process, so in that case, there is chances, like it will cost you more for the same process you are paying differently. That will be like the case when you say, so cost efficiency can be cut short. That's one of the benefit of software testing. Now the security purpose, while you are testing the project or when you are testing a software, you keep on mind each and every points like the security, how it can be helpful. You are testing on different, different platforms so you'll get all the security reasons like how you can handle them so security can be built more strong now the quality when you are testing something some product for lots of time like one after another or many times then there is sure the product quality will be too good and by this like when everything is fulfilled i think the customer will be satisfied by the work of the software and like they will enjoy working so these are the most four important benefits that you are going to face when you are working for any software, like when if you do any software testing, these all benefits you are going to fetch. Now, what are the tools basically used for software testing? There are many tools. I have just noted down few important tools. So there are many more, but these are mostly in demands and in current scenario, we are using these tools. So one is the continuous integration and delivery tools. Second one is the security testing tools. Third one is the mobile test automation tool. The fourth one is the infrastructure automation tool. Fifth one is the performance testing tools. And the sixth one is the test automation tools. Now these are the six automation tools which I have selected. I feel like these are mostly in demands. 
So now to understand these tools, like which particular technology you should know or which particular you should have knowledge of the languages which, so, which will help in working in these tools, I'll show you all in details. Now for continuous integration and delivery tools, you need to have the knowledge of Jenkins, you say the GitLabs, the Bamboo, Buddy, and Circle CI. These are the law, like these are the languages you should know for working on these particular uh, like working these tools. Like if you want to use these tools in your project, you need to have knowledge of these languages. When it comes to the security testing purpose, in that case, uh, we need to have the knowledge of NetSpark, ImmuniWeb, Vega, SQL Map. So these all help in maintaining the security. Like when we want to check the security purpose of any software, we need these all tools to know, okay? When I talk about the mobile test automation tool, in this case, we will go for the test complete, APM, robot frameworks, the Spirico, XUI test. So these all languages, basically you work on these all technologies just to use the mobile testing automation tool. When you are testing any mobile app, you need these all languages, or basically you need these tools to understand, to check this mobile test automations. Now, for the infrastructure automation tools, you need to have the knowledge of Terraform, Plumi, and Sibyl, Chef, Puppet, Jenkins. See, Jenkins is again used here. So, you know, somewhat some places, like some of the tools are like related, like something is common in some cases. So while you are doing uh, infrastructure automation tools, you need, the, you need to have the knowledge of these all. When we talk about the test automation tools, in this case, you need to know the Selenium, the Catalan, the Lambda test, the Cobiton, the Eggplant. So these are the tools or like knowledge you need to have while working with the test automation tool. These are basically when we work with the web applications, uh, when we are working, checking the websites, we use these tools. Now, uh, like these were the tools basically you need to know and the languages related to those tools or whatever you need to, uh, like you need to have knowledge of at last, when you have the knowledge of these all things, you should know what a test salary a tester gets. So the average salary of a tester in India is 4.04 lakh per annum. And the same, when you talk about the US, it's somewhere around $95,000. So it's a good handful package. This is for the freshers. I'm not talking about the experience one. This is when we're fresher choose a career as a tester. And you know this, like as the development goes on, same as like if development is there, tester is going to work. So these both are related and you know, we have a good future in tester, a uh, tester field is like, you know, you'll get to learn more on tools, like you'll get to work on different, different tools. And like many tools are coming in market in very next years. And like it's a developing, like it's more booming sector. You can say it's very easy to work and like you will get to learn a lot. So if you are thinking for uh, automation testing or like if you are thinking a career for the career in automation testing so in that case you should go through this all concepts and if you are like after this you will be like having a good life you will be enjoying your life so in this video uh like the main purpose was to understand just to explain you all the automation what basically the testing is and what tools are required in next video we'll talk in more details about uh, related to automation testing, uh, like how you can prepare for them. That's all, have a nice day, thank you.